Today, we're going to take a look at how a truck turbo works, the different types of turbos, and the difference between your car's turbo and a truck's. But in order to comprehend turbochargers, you must grasp the fundamental workings of a semi-truck engine. The engine starts with the air intake, where the engine draws in air through the air filter. This air undergoes compression within the cylinder as the piston moves upward, leading to a substantial increase in temperature and pressure. Once compressed, diesel fuel is directly injected into the highly pressurized air, and unlike gasoline engines, there are no spark plugs. The heat generated during compression is adequate to spontaneously ignite the diesel fuel, initiating controlled explosions. The combustion, or power stroke, forces the piston down the cylinder, converting linear motion into rotational motion. This movement turns the crankshaft, generating power. Following the power stroke, the exhaust valve opens, and the piston moves back up, expelling the spent gases in the exhaust stroke. And it's here that the turbo comes in play. In heavy-duty trucks, a turbocharger is often employed. This device utilizes exhaust gases to drive a turbine, which in turn forces additional air into the combustion chamber. The turbocharging process enhances power and efficiency by allowing more fuel to be burned. The entire cycle repeats in each cylinder, ensuring a continuous and efficient generation of power for the truck's movement. This comprehensive process of air intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust forms the fundamental operation of a diesel semi-truck engine, facilitating the transportation of goods over long distances. But has the turbocharger always been there? The turbocharger, commonly referred to as a turbo, was invented by the Swiss engineer Alfred Bucci. Alfred Bucci developed the concept of turbocharging in the early 20th century. His work on turbochargers began in the 1910s, and he was granted a patent for his invention in 1905. However, it wasn't until the 1920s and 1930s that turbochargers started to be used in practical applications. The primary motivation behind the development of the turbocharger was to enhance the performance of internal combustion engines, especially those used in aircraft. By compressing the incoming air before it entered the engine cylinders, the turbocharger allowed for more fuel to be burned, resulting in increased power and efficiency. This was particularly beneficial at higher altitudes, where the air pressure is lower and naturally aspirated engines tend to lose power. During World War II, turbochargers became widely used in military aircraft to improve their performance at high altitudes. The technology continued to evolve and found applications in other fields, including automotive and industrial engines. In the automotive industry, turbochargers gained popularity in the late 20th century as a means to enhance the power and efficiency of smaller engines, without sacrificing fuel economy. Turbocharging became a common feature in both gasoline and diesel engines, contributing to the downsizing trend in the automotive sector. Today, turbochargers are widely used in various applications, including cars, trucks, and industrial machinery. They have become an integral part of engine design, providing a balance between performance and fuel efficiency. The first turbocharged truck was the MAN MK26 truck, which was unveiled in 1951, and in the 1960s, turbochargers became more common in trucks, particularly in Europe and North America. Today, all heavy-duty trucks have turbochargers, as they are essential components in modern trucks, and they play a crucial role in the trucking industry. They help to improve fuel efficiency, reduce emissions, and increase power, making them an essential technology for the future of trucking. But are all turbos the same, or are there different types? Now, let's geek out a bit and explore the different types of turbos. Single scroll, twin turbo, twin scroll, variable geometry, they all have their unique characteristics. Single turbo, basic type, used in small to medium-sized engines. Simple, reliable, and cost-effective. Twin turbo, utilizes two turbos for larger engines, providing more power and torque. Commonly used in V6, V8, or V12 engines. Twin scroll turbo, has two separate scroll chambers for better exhaust gas flow and reduced turbo lag. Typically found in larger engines for improved performance and efficiency. Variable geometry turbo, VGT, adjusts vanes to change the angle of the turbine and compressor wheels. 
common in diesel engines and larger engines. Electric Turbo Uses an electric motor to spin the turbine, eliminating turbo lag. Still in early development stages and not widely available. Each type has its advantages and disadvantages, and the choice depends on factors like the engine size, performance goals, and specific vehicle characteristics. For big semi-trucks, the most common type of turbocharger is the single-stage VGT turbochargers. Single-stage VGT turbochargers are typically more straightforward, cost-effective, and practical for larger displacement engines commonly found in semi-trucks. They provide the necessary boost to enhance power and fuel efficiency in these heavy-duty vehicles. The simplicity and reliability of a single turbo make it a popular choice in the commercial trucking industry. But if you look under the hood of your car, is it the same turbo as in the big trucks? Passenger car turbos are designed for smaller engines, emphasizing efficiency and moderate boost levels, focusing on improving fuel efficiency and performance. They are smaller, less complex, and more cost-effective. On the other hand, semi-truck turbos are larger, built for heavy-duty diesel engines with a focus on sustained power, durability, and handling higher boost levels for long-haul transportation. They come with additional features, larger cooling systems, and are generally more expensive due to the demands of heavy-duty applications. Both serve the common purpose of forced induction, but cater to the specific needs of their respective vehicle types. It all sounds really good, but are there no downsides of a turbo? Maintaining these mechanical powerhouses is key to keeping them running smoothly. Because although they do a lot of good for the engine, they can also break down, and it can be a costly affair. This can happen due to lack of lubrication, foreign object damage, overspeeding, oil contamination, excessive heat, wastegate problems, and boost leaks are common culprits. Regular maintenance, timely oil changes, using quality oil, and addressing air and exhaust system issues can mitigate risks. If the turbo fails catastrophically, small metal particles or debris from the turbo may enter the engine causing damage to cylinders, pistons, or other critical parts, and can in the worst case result in a totally damaged engine. But can you improve the turbo of a truck? Truck turbo tuning involves adjusting the settings of a turbocharger to optimize its performance, aiming to enhance power, fuel efficiency, and overall engine efficiency. This process often includes electronic control module ECM programming to modify air-fuel ratios boost pressure, and other parameters. Results of truck turbo tuning can vary but may include increased horsepower and torque, improving acceleration and overall performance. Optimizing the air-fuel mixture and boost pressure can lead to improved fuel efficiency, positively impacting the truck's overall mileage, and reduced turbo lag. It's crucial to note that truck turbo tuning should be performed by experienced professionals who understand the specific requirements and limitations of heavy-duty diesel engines. Additionally, tuning should comply with local regulations to ensure environmental and legal compliance. Regular monitoring, adherence to manufacturer guidelines, and thorough testing are essential to achieving the desired results without compromising the engine's reliability. And there you have it, a deep dive into the world of turbochargers and how they work. We hope you learned something new and find it interesting. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more in-depth content, and let us know in the comments what you want us to explore next. Until then, keep the rubber on the road and the turbos spooling.